that are few things that define Comic-Con as much as Hasbro. And we're joined by Dwight and Ryan, and we're gonna talk about this absolutely badass Marvel Legends diorama. Is that the right word? Yeah, that's the right word. How do you kind of go through the idea of finding these great characters and then kind of creating this drama in this case right here? This is a, a culmination of many, many years of making some fantastic action figures, right? We get all the cases done, all the real grown-up work, and then Wednesday is play day. We try to come up with little stories and vignettes. We add a few little bells and whistles to kind of sell the scene, and we just we play. Are all of them or some of them for sale? We have a couple special con exclusives for the show this weekend. One celebrating our six inch Marvel Legends line and our three and three quarter inch Legends. So we made a box set celebrating that this year with Spider-Man having to go toe to toe with five of the biggest baddies in Marvel Universe. Hey, looks like I'm stopping back by the booth there shortly after this. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I'm here with Joe Ninavaji, and he's going to show me some of the exclusive and really, really good-looking stuff that's here at Comic-Con. Yeah, we have three Black Series figures that we're selling right now. We have our Ben Kenobi. The Comic-Con exclusive comes with that great stand with the Leia hologram and that famous message. And then we have a new version of Kylo Ren. It's the first time we've seen him unmasked. Also, another hilt for his lightsaber. Down here, we have Rogue One. That's right. So this is the very first figure for Rogue One that was revealed at the panel at Celebration. This is Jin Erso. What is the decision-making process as you sort of hone everything in every year on what is going to be the exclusive figure for Celebration or Comic-Con? You know, it, it, it's a number of factors. There are fan favorites that we haven't gotten to yet, and then we work closely with Lucasfilm. There's this great tradition that we started last year of having preview figures from the upcoming movie, and they're generous enough to let us preview a figure, and this year it was, you know, the real star of the show, which is Jin. These are the fan choice figures from last year. How did all of that work? So we partnered with StarWars.com and all the fan sites, and then all the fans went on and voted on their poll, and Darth Revan won. He was the clear winner, which is really cool because he's an expanded universe character. And then we had a, a close second with Sabine Wren, so it's really thrilling we have these great figures here. We're also having the vote come up at our panel tomorrow, so right now there's a live vote on who the next fan favorite will be. What do you, what do you think it's going to be? I, right now we have Starkiller and Darth Talon sort of neck and neck. I think it'll be either of those, but uh, who knows? Who knows what'll happen? We have lightsabers over there. These are our Force Effects lightsabers. These are pretty much the best lightsaber that you can buy. As you kind of move them around, they respond and play the cool sounds that you're used to in uh, Star Wars. So you could be uh, Luke okay. 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 Kids, you do not know how good you have it these days. Like, <laughs> it was know. sticks in like my own bag. I know. You know. <laughs> yeah, my, my lightsaber was an inflatable when I was a kid. Exactly. Oh, yeah. wow. Joe? Yeah. You're a badass. Oh, thanks, man.